Hello everybody, and welcome back to part two of my Stanley Parable Let's Play. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? Yes. No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. But why not? A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. 50 clicks! No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I Aww. want to see some hustle, Stanley. I, I want to see commitment, hustle. a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Where's 417? Oh. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. 437. Where are you, 437? Oh. Brrr. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 415. Now, back to door number 437. Four, three, seven. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy the machine. The copy machine. <gasps> All right. Back to room 417. God I'm really feeling it. it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Was that one? Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419, where is 419? Wait, did I pass it? Yes! Yeah. This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door um, 416. Six. Right there. We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one, one again! One more time! Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door four! Yes! yes! We did it! Yeah! Oh, wow. Oh, I got an achievement. Amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? That I'd get an achievement? All right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, uh, we're gonna go left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I wonder how many different slides there are. Seen that one. Hmm. 
number of slides on the slide saying that one. Uh, what? What? Okay. The broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he yeah, there is. There's all this. There's a whole shelf full of stuff. There's like a wrench and some tape and there was nothing here. Yeah, there is. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom. Oh, closet. and a broom. No reason to still be here. And a mop bucket. We have the same ones at work. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Yeah. I really wish I could jump. Has no purpose in this are game you, at all, though. It really would have no broom broom purpose. Closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Because it's fun. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Because I can, and I will. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. Yep. I hope your friends find this concerning. Me too. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Aww. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. But I don't have that family. With drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Yep. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? I am nearby. The person at this computer is no, dead. No, I'm not. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. He uses big Please words. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video do I game do mechanics and filling them in on the history what of narrative tropes happening? in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Should I go to the hallway? Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Oh, can I? You too? Yay! Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? A fungus? fungus? Look. You can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. I'm bored here now. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned Two, to discover not an indication eight, of any human life. Four, shot five. Unraveled, 
Stanley was in such a rush to yeah. get through the story as quickly as yep. possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Nope. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed I wanna play the for piano. a few moments with some calming new age music. I'm tired of this. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley oh, there calmly we go. walked forward into the opened passageway. What? Okay. What's well, back here? Nothing. Boop. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Resuming game. Oh, that uh, happened again. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Nope, that way it says escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. You're a damn dirty liar. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Stanley can't see the bigger. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. That's pretty violent. Well, Stanley. I'm gonna... No! I'm just gonna watch it. What? Farewell, Stanley, what? cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous Who metal is jaws. Talking? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, yeah? killing him instantly. Oh. And yet it would be just a few what? minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Whoa, it's all white. When every pass you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, what? making life the same. Do you see now? No, I don't see. Do you see that Stanley was already dead Nature from painting. the moment he hit start? Stanley's computer. Oh, wait. Oh, this is so cool. Filing cabinets. Office computers.
the office. Ooh, buttons. Oh, they're button sounds. Oh, look, credits. Let's see, which way do I want to go? I think I want to go this way. Interesting. Just what? What? Hmm. The lounge. That's, let's see. I continue on. But what is this? Oh. Huh. This is so cool. go. What? Okay, hold on a second. I'm a little confused on where I am. Uh, oh. What? You're just on. Okay. Oh, I see. The whole thing just loops back around. Huh. Okay, so if I went this way... It's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design. When this technique came to stay, it's the kind of thing you pick up on intuitively with having the most fundamental understanding of good and bad. It's all echoey. But of course, you being you, you'll probably spend the next hour trying to solve it. Here, I'm just going to make this easy. Interesting. Oh, Lounge. Crap. How do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. 
how they both wish to be free. Oh. Uh oh. Can you see? No. Can you see how much they need one another? What? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. What? You can still save oh. these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's uh, no other way to beat uh, this game. As long as you uh, move forward, you'll be walking uh, someone else's path. Stop uh, now. It will be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Uh, Don't let all right. Alright, I'm all about time for this video, um, but thanks for watching. Bye. And now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers.